starting to hit banging to the UK big weather port action. Plus eight Celsius, that's about 50 Fahrenheit. For any time is rain time. Big album review. Right act. Double CD. I'm gonna skip through these songs fast because it's a lot of songs. <laughs> nope, the singer sounds just like Guy Sparenza, which is fantastic. to skip through these but yeah I'll say I'm gonna go up to guitarist Rick Venture after the show and just say oh Richie Blackmore <laughs> and he said oh that was one of my favorites or one of my inspirations or something but Rick Venture played with Riot for the first three albums if I'm not mistaken could be two ah, brain's not working but anyway one of the original members of Riot So that's where you get Riot Act from. So the first disc is all new stuff. The second is re-recorded versions of the classic era of Riot, the Guy Springs era. Played two new songs uh, during the show. I, I videoed the whole show, but you can see that a few videos back on my uh, channel. <laughs> I thought they were fantastic. The singer was kind of like watching uh, David Coverdale from the California Jam era. And maybe a little bit of Ronnie Van Zandt just because of the command of the stage. So. So glad I finally got a Riot Act shirt because that looks. Uh, I love that uh, band logo or whatever. Here's the one slower song. Well, maybe there's another one that's a bit slower, but I always like the faster ones. <laughs> it's kind of a classy hard rock style, not a syrupy, keyboardy laced uh, ballad. Cowbell! Excellent on this, really, really rich and loud, loud, like. This might be, this is my favorite song on the album right here. Right Between the Eyes, this is one of them that they did live. I must say, uh, with 
one guitar. I like watching when I film a band. I concentrate on the lead guitar the most, but the bass player was like a second lead guitar. Like he didn't just do standard thump thump thump. He was all over the fretboard, like and good stage presence. He's moving around and not jumping up and down, but I mean he was oh, leaning with the music. Using my phone for this, so this is awkward. Instead of iPad, but anyway. Anyway, I gotta get onto the next disc, though. I can't. It's tough. Uh, Given tiny samples like this, but this is where I thought, oh no, I'm glad I bought the album and all, everything else. Saw them live so I can picture them doing the new stuff and so yeah, that's good. Then, <laughs> put in disc two. This was the opener, uh, yeah, for the, oh, for the show and it's the opener on disc two. But instant, love this instantly. Like, I rate this on par with Narita and Fire Down Under, and probably like it more than Rock City, because Rock City, uh, I love Overdrive. Um, Overdrive, Warrior, and Rock City on that album. Like, those are the three key songs on Rock City. So I, I'd rate this, because this is like a greatest hits or whatever you want to call it. Well, they don't have hits. I've got to hurry here, because in 49er off of Narita. In the crowd pleaser. This was the sing along song for sure. Swords of tequila. <laughs> They go right to Overdrive. I'd say I like Overdrive even better than Swords and Tequila, actually, but one's a 9.99, one's a 10 out of 10. <laughs> oh, was it this, I guess? But there's only just some. A lot of the songs have little subtle differences because I've heard these songs so many times that you notice every little thing. But but I think it's the ending of this one that was really good, like different. But I don't know if it's this one or... Kind of worry about a copyright strike. Now maybe it's uh, Warrior that has the ending that's different. Well, there, I'll I'll try finding the end of Warrior, but then No Lies. What a great track to pick off of Fire Down Under. Double CD. I mean, you're getting a... This could be my album of the year, but... It's 
Tokyo Rose is... They made it sound a, probably even better than the original a bit. Well, Warrior. The guitar tone in here is gritty enough, like... In the rhythm part. You can hear the singer when he goes shine on, how, how it sounds like Guy Sprenza. Which I'll have to fast forward to. Time to set the rock on goosebumps. This is a six minute version of it, too. And there's still four songs after this that are pretty well 10 out of 10s. But I want you to hear the end of this, even though I've got a. I'm missing good parts here. Right here, so I gotta talk a little bit and turn it down. Got the goosebumps again. That's so good, I could hardly stand it. And then they kick into this. about Guy Sparenda sounding, which is a 10 out of 10 voice to me. Then they go to back to Narita for White Rock. Hard driving rock and rollers! You gotta love lyrics like that. Hard driving rock and rollers. Then, Outlaw, which Prince of Rockwater, Seven Parts Unknown, says that's his favorite Riot song, which I can't argue with. <laughs> Even got the echoey part sound. And another 10 out of 10 off Narita. Road racing. And now to Alter the King sounded fantastic live. And it sounds fantastic on this. And Luke, uh, how do you pronounce his last name? I don't want to butcher the last name, but Lou, who was off with Brian early days too, was on this uh, second disc, but he passed away due to COVID after. But they got this uh, out of it. Well, that does it for the big show. Ran out of time. But anyway, thanks for watching. Don't forget, slower traffic. Keep lifting right, right, Claudia. Ugh.